so first of all, you have to tell me what is the special thing about Andalou? Jeez, um, well, they hired me. <laughs> That's special. <laughs> no, I've done a few appearances for them, and um, I thought this was really clever of them to come up with a cooking segment because, um, you know, it was interesting. I don't drink, so this is a good way to use the alcohol in a way that's, that, that works. Okay, yeah, and that's a new thing to cook with Andalou. Yeah, so, um, I it's actually very good. Yeah? It's really good, yeah. So do you like to cook? <clears throat> I do. I actually, I really enjoy cooking. So you have to tell me how much of a housewife is in Pamela Anderson? Well, I'm a mom, and I've, so I've cooked a lot for my kids. And, you know, we have a very simple, you know, regular life like everybody else at home. So I guess I'm a little bit of a housewife. I love laundry. I love doing My friends always make fun of me. I actually really enjoy it. Okay. So do you have a special um, or a favorite Andalou receipt? So Angelou recipe? Well, yes. we just made a sweet and sour sauce for the tofu, and that tasted really good. With the chili peppers and the garlic and the reducing it and cooking it with sugar, and it looked really interesting. That was the first recipe I've ever seen, actually. Okay, so maybe we can talk about it. Yeah. Taste it. So, um, I mean, you look so beautiful, and you have you. this new haircut. <laughs> so you have to tell me, why did you cut off your hair, your long hair? I was bored. I felt like it was just time to move on, and, you know, I cut my hair. I was running in a marathon for... Um, JPHRO for, to raise money for Haiti and I felt if I'm going to cut my hair I should do it now because it's very practical. I'll be running 26 miles so I think it'd be better with short hair and then I just loved it. It was really, uh, now it's growing out. I'm doing a film in September actually with Werner Herzog, oh, a great German director and so I'm growing it out for that project but I actually like it, all the stages of it. It's fun. It's, it just feels, you know, it feels different. It's fun to do different things. So I don't want to keep my long hair. I've had that for 20 years. Mm -hmm. So what was your first reaction if you looked into the mirror and saw you? I saw it slowly being cut. My husband cut one side and his daughter cut the other. And then they slowly, the hairdresser cut slower and slower. It took him about three hours to cut it because I want it very short. I want it very French, very Jean Seberg, kind of super, super short. And they couldn't believe I wanted it that short. And definitely some mornings I'd wake up and say, you know, what did I do with all my hair? Because it's nice to have, to hide behind your hair. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I'm getting used to it. I enjoy it. My mom loves it. <laughs> Thank you. It's really beautiful. Thank so you. You have to tell me um, what has changed. So does your life change with this new haircut? How do people react now? Well, I like actually seeing people's reaction. It's everyone. It's been very positive. But I think um, with the long hair and and my whole life uh, to this point, especially over the last ten years, it's been very. Um, kind of rock star and wild and I just felt like calming down a little bit you know being and I so it would happen it was just good when I cut my hair it cut out a lot of things from my life as well so it was very symbolic it's very a spiritual thing to cut your hair yeah so yeah. would you say it's um, a completely new image that you have now I you know not not on purpose to create an image or to reinvent myself but it just seems to be happening you know I just I think it's my age I think it's just the time in my life and and my children are growing up and it's nice to be yeah, it's just a different it's a different time and it just felt better I I, I wanted to I, I just the way I dress and everything just seems to be changing but it's not not any any calculated thing it's just as women we change yeah so it yeah. happens it just happens yeah it's still happening Okay, great. <laughs> so and we all saw this really, really beautiful, sexy photos of you in the French magazine, Purple. Yes. So, um, what do you think about your your photos? <laughs> well, I love Sante Durazio, and, and when I cut my hair and he saw a picture of me, he called me and said, you have to get to New York, I want to shoot you right away, I've got to shoot you in short hair. And I said, okay, if I'm going to shoot with anybody, I'm going to shoot with Sante. And then, of course, we ended up taking all our clothes off, because that's usually what happens when Sante's shooting, but it wasn't my intention going in. And But I like the photos. I think I look like a little alien-ish little boy. I like it. It's what? cute. little boy? Yeah, no. I look like a little boy. <laughs> Why a little boy? I don't know. I think I look like a little uh, fairy boy. I don't know. That's how I. What's the, what I got out of it? It was no, funny. It was cute. I talked to uh, saying, "Wow, she looks so sexy and so so beautiful." Oh, thank you, thank yeah. you. So I read in a magazine <clears throat> that she said it was a shocking moment, or you was shocked when you saw how strong you are, how strong you look. Yeah, well, I'm used to seeing, well, I'm, you know, I always hide behind my hair, and my hair is always in my face, and when I take pictures, it's just always been a prop for me, so to actually do photos where I didn't have any hair to play with, I mean, I don't know if it's interesting to anybody, but it was, it was a different thing for me, 
And, uh, but when I saw the photos, I thought, wow, I can really see me because I think I am a strong woman and I do have a strong personality. And I think behind all the hair and the bikini and stuff, I kind of got away with that. And, but as my family and my friends know that I, I am very, you know, opinionated and, and strong. And when I saw the picture, I went, oh, there I am. I look like that's, that felt strong to me. So the real Pamela Anderson, is it true or? Slowly being revealed, yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it, is ex it is revealing, you know, you show your whole face. So I guess that's um, uh, more of a vulnerable space because we hide behind our hair and, mm -hmm. and whatever else. But I, I feel much more comfortable lately for some reason, just getting older, getting better. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and uh, what was the reaction of your sons when they saw the photos? Um, my youngest son thought I looked weird, thought I was trying to look like Miley Cyrus. I said, I could never look like Miley Cyrus, but I'm, no, that's not it. And then my oldest son is very much into fashion. He's very, loves glamour. And at first he was like, your hair, mom, that's, I asked him if I should cut my hair and he said, no. But when he saw it, he said, it's perfect. I love it. So my youngest son still is always thought I looked weird though. So there's nothing new, nothing new. <laughs> But he's so right, and it's really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So why have you said to your own, so I want to make pictures like this? I, like I said, I just, Sante called me when he saw I had short hair and wanted to do a photo shoot. And, you know, we start off in beautiful clothes, but we always end up naked in Sante photos. And I thought, you know, we're, he does a lot of art pieces. He shows his, um, his photos in museums and things like that. So that's how we did it. And then Purple saw the photos and really wanted to publish them and so they convinced me that I should do it and I said okay I love purple magazine it's a great place I didn't know it was going to get picked up all over the world but um, that's very flattering would you do it again would I do it again oh, who knows I I don't know I do things all the time that I'm unaware of <laughs> in the moment I don't who knows what the future holds I so mean maybe in 10 years I don't know I mean who knows I don't know it's not it wasn't a calculated it wasn't a thought of thing you never know Okay, so maybe uh, you have to tell us, every, every woman wants to know, how did you get in shape for this shooting? I mean, you have such a beautiful picture. Oh, thank you. I, don't, I didn't try and get into shape. I, I think just lifestyle, being um, you know, with my kids and running around with my dogs and working out a little bit, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I didn't um, attempt to get in shape, but I am vegan, so I think that helps me stay in shape. So would you say, um, so I, I think there's a big pressure in Hollywood, so uh, to be always skinny, to be always young, so do you feel kind of pressure or, um, or not? I don't think so. I mean, I, I want to look the best I can look, but I also want to grow up too. I, I don't really like the idea of trying to hang on, you know, to your youth or try and chase youth, you know, I, I feel like um, it's a no-win situation so embracing your age at different times in your life and is is much more freeing and, and realistic and let the young people be young you know let the I have two beautiful stepdaughters now and they're gorgeous and 18 and 15 and they're beautiful and their friends are beautiful and I think thank god I don't have to do that anymore I feel great I'm in the perfect spot perfect so you're yes. not afraid of getting older no I want to get old I like it I'm gardening and I'm baking and I'm doing all knitting and doing all sorts of funny things I don't know I'm in, I'm, I'm enjoying it so, and how does it feel? I think there are so many people who are saying um, Pamela Anderson is one of the most sexiest uh, uh, women alive. Would you oh, say? Oh gosh! Yeah, I think you heard it a lot in your life. I think so. Is it is it a blessing or is it something sometimes a curse? Being sexy, I think. I think being sexy is is a is first of all, it's very flattering for someone to say anything like that. But I think uh, sexy has nothing to do with. Um, looks or things it's an in, inside job so you know it's I think it's um, a, just a state of mind would you say you are a self-critical woman or self-critical yeah um uh, maybe a little bit I, I don't know I don't really I don't I don't think I really um, worry about too many physical things but I do worry about um, you know, things that I'm, I'm very passionate about, like animal rights and, and being a parent and, and raising my kids right and, and trying to have the right balance of letting them be rebellious and having boundaries and, you know, I, I, I you know, and, and my relationship and, and my family, things like that, I think I'm, I'm critical of in myself and I try and do the best I can. But physical stuff and, and life and Hollywood is really, I don't know, it's not that important. Okay. <laughs>
we have to con congratulate you uh, to your wedding. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah. it's, it's so nice uh, that we heard. So it's the second time that you married Rick Salomon. I know. So I can't believe you just said that. Did I really? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Well, before, it was a different time in our life. Both of us were in Las Vegas, and it was kind of the height of craziness for both of us. Now, you know, he's been sober for five years, and, and um, he's a different man. He's the same man, but better. So I think it's, it's, we're like best friends, and I think that's who you want to marry, you know? You want to marry your best friend. That's very cool. Thank Last you. Last question. Uh, so, and your sons, do they, li yeah, they like him, I think. You oh, like they him. love him. My oldest son actually said to me, you don't think that I love Rick more than you, do you, Mom? I was like, I didn't even cross my mind until you said it. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> but but uh, you change your name. I mean, uh, Pamela Anderson or Pamela, Pamela Solomon? Or I don't know. I haven't changed my name yet, but I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. I like Solomon. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. From now on, 20 years in the future, where do you see yourself in 20 years? Let's hope we're alive, but um, I haven't put much thought into that. Just hopefully being around lots of grandkids. We have four teenagers between us. We have a 15, 16, 17, and 18 year old. And so, babies, family, that's what I see. Big Patrick family. A big family, big family, yes. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Time's thank over. You. <laughs> thank you.